Alright, uh, this video is going to show you just how to wire up an LED and hopefully a motor. Um, this is brought to you from my man shed. I'm a little bit uncomfortable talking this loud because I think my neighbours are going to think I'm a bit mental talking to myself in the shed. Anyway, um, it's late and I've drunk a lot of coffee. Right, so we've got, this is the stuff you're going to need, your LED. I'm just going to teach you how to put that on some wires. You're going to need some wire. And you should know in electronics or school electronics, we tend to use black for anything that's zero volts or negative and red for anything that's positive. So first job, strip your wire. Now I'm just going to move all this stuff out of the way so you can see what's going on. I prefer these automatic wire strippers. So put them in from the left. You want about that much sticking out towards the end of the jaws, I don't know if you can see like that, so this way rather than too far into the jaws you just pull and strip, take the end off, good tip now is to take it and twist it like that and now just repeat, so do that for both ends of all the wires, Let's speed up a bit now go. Right, next job. Um, this is the method that works best for me, okay? So I suggest you may find a better way of doing it, but um, this is the way I find the quickest. So obviously you should know that the longer leg is positive. So for now, just bend that one out a little bit so you can get to it easier. And what I tend to do now, take your wire and your LED and sort of cross them about the midway up, pinch them, and then kind of wrap wrap it round. So what you're trying to do is, I'll make it look a bit easier, but you're just trying to wrap the leg, the metal bit of the leg around the LED like that. Um, you're now going to solder it. So you can use the soldering boards for this. So I've got this weird little clamp thing in my workshop, but it does the same deal. Take your soldering iron and then, sorry this is a bit hard to manoeuvre with the camera, put the soldering iron on one side of the LED and the solder on the other. See if I can zoom in a bit to show you what is going on. Okay, so solder, soldering iron, and just feed the two in together like this until you get a nice thin coating. All right, that should now be stuck. You're going to do exactly the same with the black leg. So I'll just zoom out a bit again. So take it out, halfway around, pinch, wrap it around. Try and wrap it around sort of in line rather than at 90 degrees. You'll see why in a minute when we do the next step. Again, you're going to solder that. So, like this. Okay, you don't need too much solder. Just enough that if you tug on it, you can see it's clearly stuck. Right, next step, take your wire cutters and trim off the excess metal. Like so. Okay, there we go. And that's looking pretty good so far, but you should know from electronics, um, it's not good practice to leave bare metal like that exposed because if they touch together, you make what's called a short circuit and then your LED won't light. So we're going to use some of that uh, famous shrink wrap tubing again. I'll just dig some of that down off my little supply up here. Yeah, I've got a bit of a cold as well. Things I do. Hazard of being a teacher. Right, so take your blue tube in, slide it over. Make sure you've cut yourself a long enough bit that it actually covers up all of the metal and a bit of the plastic. Do that for both wires. Yeah, and one of the hazards of being a teacher, you're always ill, which is awesome. There you go, and now we're going to shrink that. Um, but I don't know where my heat gun is at the moment, so I'm sure you can imagine what the heat gun would do. Hold it over the heat gun. I'm just going to use the soldering iron to do the same job. Heat gun's a lot quicker. So shrink the tubing down. Okay, I hope that's on the camera. Trust me, it's a lot quicker with a heat gun. 
Right, now that's pretty good. I mean, that LED is ready to use. If those bits touch together, it's not going to cause a problem. But I've got this really fancy trick that I like to do now, which is uh, which is really nice. And it's probably one of the most satisfying things you can do in electronics. Uh, yeah, like I said before, I need to get out a bit more. I'm a bit sad. Uh, what are you going to do? Take a drill. Okay, good old cordless drill works best on these things. And put your LED in the chuck. All the way into the chuck and then tighten the chuck up by hand. Okay. Make sure both wires are in nice and neat. It's better that you clamp on the wires and not the LED. Right. Hold the LED with one hand, you can wrap it around a finger if it helps near the end. And then hold the drill with the other and then just turn the drill on. Okay, how satisfying is that? What that does is it twists your wires together under your chuck and you get this nice neat LED on a pair of wires ready to use. Okay, um, If you've got just a two volt, sorry, three volt battery lying around, so two of these at one and a half each, it's three volts, you can stick the LED on that without a resistor and usually get away without damaging it just to see if it lights and check you've done it right. Okay, so. Around that help. Okay. There you go, you probably can't tell it's too bright in here, but that's lighting up. Okay, that is how I do LEDs. That's my uh, my preferred method. Motors, if you want to do a motor, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, but I will just show you a ready finished one because I don't want to bore you any longer. All you do with a motor is use pretty much straightforward really, you just poke it through the hole, back on itself, then solder over it. And because a motor doesn't have positive or negative, just use either a yellow or a blue wire, anything other than red and black really. Okay, we reserve red and black for positive and negative. There you go. Now you guys go and do it. <laughs>